Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see how we create pipeline in Azure DevOps. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen like what is the pipeline and what is the use of the pipeline in Azure DevOps. So we have seen in the last tutorial like pipeline is basically used to create the build and like move that code into the different type of the environment like production or testing environment. So like every user can utilize the code which developer has committed into the branches and then branches is merged into the one branch and then we create the pipeline and that that pipeline is basically create a build and move that code into the production. So in this tutorial, we are going to see the same like how we create the pipeline. So let's go to the URL and this is Dev Azure website and the, this is the organization which we created in the previous tutorial and these are the some project which we created in the previous tutorial and we were working like how to create the branches and like how we create uh, like uh, commit the code and what is the repo so all these things we have seen in the previous tutorial so before proceeding with this tutorial I recommend you please watch previous tutorial so you will understand like how is the pipeline and how it works so before proceeding with the pipeline let's create a new project for the pipeline and we'll see freshly so for creating the project as we have seen like we'll click here and here we have to give the project name so i'm going to give like pipeline project so let's give the project name and any description if you want to give you can give here and the what kind of the visibility you want to give you can give here so i'm going to take as of now as a public and in the advanced we have to select the version control and the process what kind of the process you are going to choose so we have already talked about all these stuff in the previous tutorial so let's click on this create so once i will click on this create it will create a new project for us and the project name will be the pipeline project and when i go under this board and under in this board like everything is the empty and if i will go into the repo and the file we are not looking any code so uh, currently we are not having anything because we ha don't have any code setup so let's go to uh, the page basically and here what we are going to do we are going to create a folder and we will manage the code so let's create the project uh, folder here so the fo folder name which i am going to give here is basically i'm going to give like pipeline as we have given before for the different type of the project so inside this project what i'm going to do let's open this project and inside this i'm going to open the cmd command and in this cmd command what i'm going to do i'm going to create a one project so let's create a one project so this thing we have seen in the previous tutorial as well so i'm going to create a one project using this dotnet new mvc so this command will create a one basically a dotnet core application so once i i will hit enter here so in the right side left side you will see that it is creating the project so that is the first step like it created the project and now i'm going to initialize this one so let's click get in it so once i will initialize this you can see here uh, all the folder is having one icon so basically this icon is coming because of we have installed tortoise git so that we have seen like how to install the tortoise git and how it is useful for the like uh, repository to manage the code all these things we have seen in the previous tutorial so that's why these icons is coming so after initializing we have to add this code so git add so we are going to add full code that's why we are writing like git add all so if you will hit enter it will add like uh, like uh, here let's we have to take two dash basically because with the one it doesn't work so let's hit enter now so what it will do it will add that project into the repository so we can see the icon now has changed and after adding this we have to commit those changes into the repository so for that we have to write like git commit dash m and then we have to give the comment like adding code to repo so any comment you can give which you need so once i will hit enter what it will do it will add this code into the repo so and we can see the 
um, like the now icon is in green if it means like if icon is in green it means the code is set up into the repository but still we didn't have uh, this code into this repository if i will refresh it if we don't have that code here because it still it didn't um, um, like clone that code into the repository so that we have seen in the previous tutorial also like when it uh, commit the code into the repository basically like we have to either uh, have to take this repo or the this repo if we are already having the repo uh, like code then we have to utilize this one so let's copy this one from here because we are already having the code and what you have to do you have to paste it here so once i will paste it here hit enter what it will do it will add that code into the repository and like basically into the server and that we have it has done like branch master is set up to track remote branch master so if i will refresh this page now what we will see we will see the code so what we have done here so that is the step like how to create the project and how we do the setup of the code into the repository and into the files so that we have seen in the previous tutorial also so now we are going to see like how we set up a build or how we set up a pipeline into the azure Depot. so like you can set up a build from here like it will be create a build for this particular project only so you can create a setup from here or you can go into this pipeline and from this when you will go into this pipeline so currently we are not having any pipeline so it is saying like create pipeline so once you will click on this create pipeline is basically so here it is saying where is your code so it's like what is your version control like either you are using azure repo gate or bitbucket cloud github so the version control you have to choose like where you are putting your code so we are going to use the azure repo git so once i click on that we can see the project which we are having so we are having currently like this pipeline project which we created just now so what you can do either you can click here or here so once i click on here now it is asking configure your pipeline it means like what kind of the application you are using so we have to configure in that way so you can see there are so many the application like what kind of the application you are creating like an android application asp.net asp.net core c++ and what kind of the application you are using so based on that you have to select that application like it's a docker it's a angular application and what kind of the application you are using based on that the application you have to choose so we have created asp.net code so i'm going to select the same one and once i will select the application we are go the, like it is taking us to the reviewer pipeline yaml so what is the meaning of the yaml so basically it is an important file for the pipeline and what it do it create the setup for creating the pipeline and for creating the build and here we can see like what it is doing it is going to trigger the master branch first of all so it is saying like trigger master branch then pool it means like vm means virtual machine so it create a image for the like you can create an image on the ubuntu on window linux any place you can create that uh, image and once after the pipeline finish what it do it automatically delete that uh, particular virtual machine and the variable like what kind of the build configuration you are having as a release here we are having and then it is passing this parameter into the steps where it create the build here it is indicating like script.net build configuration and the build configuration and here it is the display name so that that is the file and according to that it will process so for doing that process what we have to do we have to click on this save and run once i click on this save and run here like we have to give the like commit uh, any message if you want to give any description if you want to give and the option like according to your uh, requirement you can select an option and you can give comment and the description and after giving that what you have to do you have to click on this save and run and once i will click on this save and what it will do it will create the pipeline so this is the page of the pipeline and if you want to see like what kind of the job is it is doing you can click on this job so once i click on this job what we will see here like it is a starting job and initializing job then check out pipeline project then dot net build release and then like it will go till to the report like it will 
send the report so where i have clicked so as of now like all the job has done and where i clicked basically so i clicked on this job like what kind of the process and the full process is happening so here you have to click and as of now like this uh, pipeline the build is set up successfully so what you have to do you can click again here and you can see so what is the meaning of this like if you want to understand the meaning of every uh, step so you click particular step and see like here what it is doing it creating the agent it is initializing the agent so in the coming tutorial we will understand the like what is the agent first and like then basically here it initialize the agent and it make it ready or prepare the build directory and in the next step what it do it check out the pipeline project so uh, repository basically so get a source from a repo support git and tfvc like whatever the repository we are using it get the code from here and then it actually check the code whatever we have written manually like whatever the code we have written in our project it check that code if there is any error in the code it will give the error and then next what it do it check out that project from here and like next after doing this it finalize the job like once it initialize after that all the process then it finalize the job and then report build status like it send the report to the particular email id so all the job is done here like let's see like after this uh, here in the last step report it basically send a report and here we can see on the particular mail id whatever we have given it send a mail and once i click on this mail we can see like the pipeline project and here we have seen build succeed so if i will click here like uh, come down here all the full detail it gives that what is the like ci continuous integration is there and what is the commit number and adding role to repo so all this information it give into the mail so that is the thing and here like suppose now if what happened if we have checked in as a like commit as a wrong code then what will happen here so what i will do i will go into the repo and if i will go into the file so basically you can make any changes from here or you can go and you can open this project in any tool and from there you can change it like before changing that code let's what i will do i will pull the changes so get pull so once i will pull that request we can see there is a one file created that is yml file and it indicate to like this file is indicated basically to the pipeline file and whatever the steps was there that steps it contain if i will open here and we can see like all the information whatever we have seen steps it is showing the same steps here only so let's what i will do let's make some changes to this file either you can make changes from here or like what you can do you can go here and from here i'm going to make some changes so at point of this time what i'm going to do i'm going to make wrong changes and we'll see like how this build will fail so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this one like first we have to click on this edit and after click edit just delete this one commit the changes so these steps we have already seen in the previous tutorial like how we do the all those things now let's go into the pipeline so once i go to the pipeline basically like whatever the change we have done it automatically start that like this pipeline automatically start that process and we can see that it is moving it means the it is uh, doing the process and we have seen like it is giving an error and like uh, the pipeline is basically failed here and if i will click here it will give like why it failed like it is saying bash exited uh, existed um, like with code one and one is basically indicate like the there is a some problem in into the code and if i will see all the job here we can see like dot net build release so basically the step if i will click on this the step where it check the code here it got failed that's why the pipeline is failed so we can see like we will get a one mail also so if i will go into this mail and if i will see here the build field related to that we are getting one mail here and what is the error we can see here so now let's what i will do 
go to this files and let's make changes like uh, make that correct click on this edit and here let's do the changes and here like changes done do the commit from here and click on this commit and after commit let's cl create the pull request so by that time automatically the pull request is also happen automatically like once we make any changes and do commit like already it create the like build automatically starts and we can see the process it's going on and if you want to see so it is currently running on dotnet release so basically the all the steps automatically done once we do any commit into the master branch because we are making this pipeline for the master branch so it is automatically start process doing all these things and we can see that process is done successfully and we got the report like all these steps here and same we got the mail also so let's go to the pipeline and like th we are making the pipeline for pipeline projects let's create so as of now we created three build for a particular project so we can see all the steps like what all are the and even you can see the history after click of anyone if i will click on this one you can go and see like respective the things like what happened and what not happened let's go to the mail for recent one we got or not yeah we got as a build succeed so all these things we can manage from here now if you want to see the notification like from where we can manage so for that what you have to do into this particular project you can see at the down the project setting so once i you will click on this project setting basically and from here you can see the notification and in this notification once you will click you can see it like when you want to get the mail so here you can see like build complete you want to get the mail pull request review added or removed then you want a notification so all these things you can manage from here so that is the thing and like all the permission and the pipeline related so this we are going to see in the coming tutorial so basically we are going to talk about the notification so all those notification you can manage from here and if you want to add new subscription you can click here and from once you will click on this new subscription and like kind of the mail you can get like a build field then you want a build complete then you want so all these things you can manage from here and if you will click on the next what you can do you can manage the new subscription like suppose a build complete you can rename this and like to whom you want to send that mail so based on that you can select particular and the role which you want to take like last change by and what kind of the so basically from here you can create your own new subscription uh, from here like when you will click uh, on new subscription from there you can manage your own notification criteria like how and to whom you want to send so basically let's go back to that project and go to the pipeline and like so as of now we created a three pipeline and like we created a one failed pipeline and two succeed pipeline so and based on that we are looking here so basically this is the way of creating and managing the pipeline in azure devops so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment Thank